Hey guys, how are you going? And today we'll be doing a video on Ace Designs 107 and I'm going to show you how to make this cool abstract effect in Photoshop. And it's used on my banner and it's extremely popular. Now you can see it's going to it's used on a lot of banners and if you would like you can get other people's templates of Google, so of YouTube, so it's not that hard, just type in this and that's fine, and then you can get all these cool little things. But um, this effect was made on mine mine and I did it by myself this one but you guys can go and do that but before I do that I'm going to show you how I made it so this is a little an example of what I've done just quickly so it's a really simple effect and it's really easy to achieve so let's go ahead and go to file new make the width 1920 by 1080p resolution 300 and the name's just going to be abstract shapes Cut. Okay, we've got this here. Now we're going to go to our shape tool, hold down the click and select the polygon tool, then change the sides to three because of a triangle is basically polygon with three sides. And then if you press Control Shift N, makes a new layer and just name this shape. And then I'm just going to hold shift and then or just like click there. Like sweet, we've got that. Right, now I'm going to make like a Color, so I'm going to pick a color. So I'm going to, I like that pink there. Alright, sweet. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and do Rasturize Layer. And I'm going to grab the Pen Tool. And I'm going to grab the ruler. So I'm going to press Control R and just move the ruler so it hits one of the axis points on the triangle. It's pretty spot on. And then you can just click on one of the corners, just a little bit out, and then click on the ruler somewhere in the middle preferably and then shift there, 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 there and then make a selection around that press OK and then press Control U and you can change the saturation that is Control D and then when you move this ruler out the way you've got this cool little thing here so the color actually isn't the best example, so I'm just going to quickly undo this. Go to our shape tool. Go to blue. Right, blue's a good one. And I'm just going to do that again. Make sure that it's rasturized because you're going to get some weird stuff if you don't do that. And then I, I think moving a rule is really key because if you don't, it's just going to look out. It's just going to come out like not all gym, um, not all even, and you're just going to have some big problems through that. So I'm going to do right click and do make selection, press OK, and then you can press Control U to bring up the saturation and just change the color like that. You don't want to go too crazy on the colors, you can, but it's not going to turn out that great. And then see how I messed up this corner. That's fine, this is just an example, but obviously you want to take your time with this. Especially, it's only you only have to do some one shape, and then once you've done that, you can just duplicate it. So, like that, and then press Ctrl D, and then once you move the ruler out the way, You've got this cool thing going on here. And then with that shape, if you press Ctrl J, that's basically duplicating the layer. And then you can move that layer, move it across, and do that. Now make sure when you're like resizing and everything and moving them apart, you this is one a tip that I have. Um, you always want to keep the triangles parallel to each other because if you don't, it's it it will still work, but it's just not going to work that great. Like, it looks better, in my opinion, when it's diagonal, and yes. Then you can just keep on messing around with these shapes, and, you know, keep on doing some cool designs. So, for an example, like here. There we go. And then 
then you can like go on this side and then move that around like that. And then I can flip that horizontally and then it makes the shading look a bit more cooler. So to flip something horizontally you can just right click and do flip horizontal when you free transform. And to free transform just press ctrl T after duplicating that to change the size around. And then you've got something really cool going on here. Like that. It's not that hard to like make cool shapes and that. It's just just have a little practice in it and you'll get the hang of it. Like just do whatever suits you basically, that's what I'm trying to say, and you'll you'll find the best design in your liking. And then once you've got that, you're ready to like go and do your artwork. There you go, and you've got that, and then you just can like duplicate these and make like a cool little pattern. The lines are a little bit off, but that, you get what I mean, and it's something really cool in my opinion, and I really like this, so I thought I might as well make a tutorial. I know there's tutorials out there already on this stuff, but for my subscribers, they probably don't know this, and I don't want them to go tutorial hunting. I'll do the hard work for you guys, and all you guys need to do is just sit and have a good time. And that's something really cool there, and then you can just keep on doing heaps of different things and what you can do is you can change the color of each shape by pressing ctrl u on that shape layer and you can get something so like there and then on here you can change this one a little bit like the same and you can mix things up a bit which is something cool about this, this design and it's what i like about it the most shape and then you've got something like this one looks um, stands out more than the others and that's what you really want and then you can put your logo in there or something so there you go guys I hope that you do enjoy this tutorial and it's something it's a really cool effect and what you've done here what I've done here is I've just duplicated these, these a lot and I've came up with a really cool design and then once you have a basic pattern, instead of just doing that with each individual shape, you can just shift click all of them, and then just control J, and then press control T, and then you can duplicate that around, like that. And there you go, you have a pattern for a banner. So then, you've got something cool like that. That, control J. And there you go, you've got a really cool banner. And I'm actually going to, because it looks so good, I'm going to make this a banner for you guys. And the download, the script, the download link in the description will be below. So that's something really cool that I want to do for this tutorial. And yeah, so running out of words to say, but what I'm just trying to do is I'm trying to multitask. Shit, keep on pressing. See how I've duplicated these layers? And then there you go, you've got that really cool banner design that these guys always wanted for your channel. And it's really simple, probably two to five minutes, and you've got this cool design. And it's amazing, really smart, and you can also like change around the hue saturation on each individual one to change it up a bit. It's really symmetrical, it's really cool, and that's what I want to have done on my channel. So, if you do end up enjoying this video, make sure to hit that like button. Let's even get to 10 likes on this video. Thank you for watching the video, I appreciate it, and my mouth. Oh yeah, by the way, before I end this tutorial or video, I would like to say thank you for 1,500 subscribers. It means a lot to me, and I'm going to be doing a special giveaway in the future for that um, 1,500 subscribers. So if you are not subscribed, you have to be subscribed so to get the giveaway, and it's going to be really cool. So see you.